Hey guys, good afternoon. Roseanne White here and it's a Wednesday workout. So welcome everybody. This is going to be a workout for all of you that might be like me that have an injury on their foot. I sprained my ankle last week and uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more seated stuff in the next couple of weeks. So I wanted to give you a workout that you also can do seated. So today we're going to be using the Life Pro Triform Kettlebell and the vibration platform of your choice. So welcome everybody. Beautiful day here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Roseanne White and I am here to help you to live fit and age well. That's my motto that I try to share with everybody. No matter what stage of life you're in, what place you are, there's always something you can do to move your body. And as we always say, emotion is lotion and movement is medicine. I've copied that from my naturopath and from Amber and many people in the field. That's not an original idea, but it's one I want to share with you. So um, welcome. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Uh, let me know if you have a Triform weight training system, the three-in-one weightlifting system, and, uh, and what vibration platform you're having. Here's the plan. I'm going to talk a little bit, so bear with me. And then I'm going to go through 10 exercises. We're actually going to go through them one time because I want to make sure because some of you might be really new to working with kettlebell. Um, some of you might have some uh, disabilities, if you will, that you think, oh, I can't do kettlebell. Yes, you can. Uh, and you start where you're at. And then we're going to go another round in real time, about one minute each for the exercises to give us about 10 minutes on the vibration platform. So. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to share a couple things with you in case you didn't know already. Um, if you are familiar with Life Pro and have our products, we have a kind of a giveaway going on that every three weeks we're giving away. We are giving away, not me, Life Pro is giving away one of two things. You have a choice of either a $150 Visa e gift card or a $250 Life Pro e gift card that you could use on the Life Pro website. And all you have to do, I could put the link in the chats, and all you have to do to be eligible is re, um, submit reviews of from September 20, September of uh, 2023 onwards to be considered for this contest. Past reviews, meaning before September, are not eligible. And Amber is going to be announcing um, one lucky winner every uh, every three weeks, so November 17th, which is this Friday. We're going to announce um, entries submitted from October 27th to November 16th. So get in, get on. If you got something, I gave you the link there. Make sure you use it to put a review about your products because I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure from what I hear and what I've been using for the products What's not to love about Life Pro? Um, sadly, I was in Sedona this weekend when I sprained my ankle and I didn't have any of my tools really. I was doing an Amazon Live with the uh, Revitaglow mask. I brought that along, but I didn't bring a lot of my products. And I'm like, what was I thinking? I should bring a vibration platform or a red light, um, something red light with me. And my husband was even surprised I didn't bring it. So, the products are trip portable. You can take them with you, so many of them with you on trips to the gym, to your friend's house, to your, you know, it's the holidays, you're traveling, bring bring your Lumacare with you, bring something with you because you never know when life happens. So that's my first announcement. The second one um, I wanted to share with you is that, um, let's see, I told you about that. Um, did you know right now that you can get the Triform 3-in-1 weightlifting system. It normally retails for $279.99. It's 20% off, plus they're giving away a massage gun with it. So check it out. Triform and a massage gun, plus 20% off. It's a great deal. And I'm going to give you my link. Um, you probably won't get the additional 10% off, but just go ahead and use my link if you wouldn't mind clicking on that one if you're going to be ordering let me put that link in the chat now so I get all my housekeeping out of the way. So there's the link. Click on it. Triform 3-in-1 tri uh, weight training system, $279.99, 20% off, plus a massage gun. So who doesn't love that, right? Life Pro, they're always giving us stuff. So um, 
Yes, so I'm going to be moving back uh, to show you my, I'm going to be using my uh, Rumblex Pro 4D. I have a stool that's uh, about two feet high. I got this on Amazon. It's very inexpensive. And um, I'm going to be using the Triform Dumbbell. So let me move some things aside. I have a little timer for when we're going in real time. I'm going to use that, but not now. I'm going to show you the 10 exercises, okay? And let me put those in the chat right now as well. Sometimes I forget to get all these things out to you guys right away. I want you to see what's going on. We are doing seated, seated. Um, where is it? There you go. Let's see how, hopefully this all come through. Okay. It wasn't perfect in my formatting, but you get the idea. We're doing seated, uh, exercises. So if you don't have the platform, don't worry about it. If you have the Triform kettlebell, three-in-one train system, it's perfect, okay? I'm going to actually be using my kettlebell. I'm using nine pounds for all the work, okay? And I'm not putting my platform on in this first set. So I'm going to make sure I'm pretty even here so you guys can see me. Okay, let me know if you've got any questions along the way, please. I'm here to help. Okay, see my pink little band aid, my wrap? That's just to keep me stable. So I'm going to go through the 10 exercises. You can adjust your weights accordingly as to the exercise because some things you might want to add more weight on, some things you might want to back off depending on how your shoulders feel and other things. So again, no vibration, no movement in the platform for this demo, but we're going to go real time for the 10 exercises, okay? So what I'm going to do is my first my halo. Now I've done halo many times before. You're sitting upright. What I want to do with the this um, my kettlebell is bell side up, and I'm going to go alternating. So I'm going to take it from one side, okay? I'm going to come up and around to my hip. Then I'm going to take it up and around. See how wide my elbows are? Down and there. So it's a little different halo than you're used to. And I'm only going to do a few of these because we're going to do them in real time. But I wanted you to demonstrate these, okay? A normal halo is one that goes around and around, okay? But I'm just doing a kind of an alternating halo. That's exercise one. The next exercise, two, side bends. And for these, you're going to be sitting feet in line with knees in line with hips. So, so I might not look like I'm in alignment, but I am. And I'm just going to go side bending. Now, I like to put the hand behind the head and side bend. I'm pushing down on the leg that I'm bending to, but I'm still anchoring the other hip and up. So I'm going to side bend on one side for 30 seconds. I'm going to switch it over and side bend on the other side. It is not about speed. It is about quality of movement. If you don't have a timer, I'm going to suggest six to eight reps of all these to start with the weight you like. Then you can add on a second set. Then you can add on more reps. So start with that six reps of each, one set or two sets, then add on. My third exercise is a seated deadlift. So what I'm gonna do here, my feet will be wide. Now your platform, if you have a waiver or a hover, uh, something that you, you might just get on the very edge. I like the Rumlex because I can go pretty wide here. And all I'm gonna do is be very upright. My back is flat. I'm hinging, I'm tipping, and I'm lifting. So believe it or not, when I do this, I'm going to feel upper glute and hamstring while my core is engaged. So it's just a hinge. I'm going to tap and lift. Now, your chin is kind of in place with this, okay? So I want to keep my arms locked in place, and I tip and I lift, okay? Abs are pulled in. That's our seated deadlift. Number four, bent over row. Now, you can really bend over, but here's what I suggest. And I want to show you from the side. Let me get this. I, I have both feet on the platform. I'm going to hinge over so my back is flat. You see that? And then I'm going to pull. Okay, so that's my, it's a narrow row. Okay, you can do a wide one, but I'm going to keep it pretty narrow because you're going to feel a lot more core on that. Okay, 
So our narrow row, you can come forearms or hand. That just keeps my, my spine stacked in a row. And you're going to feel lat, latissimus dorsi, the muscles, big broad muscle from armpit to center of where your, your um, sacrum is. And you're going to feel a lot of shoulder muscles. So that's our bent over row. Single arm, that will do 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And then this one's a little compound exercise. You know, I like two furs and three furs. You get more bang for your buck there. So we're going to be doing an arm extension to an overhead press. So what I'm going to do here, I, I hold my bell down, bell down. I'm going to extend and then press up. Extend, press up. Now, when you press up, what I don't want you to do is arch your back. You see that arch I have? I want to keep core strong. So you may not go all the way up. You might find you're in your neck. You extend up as high as you can. It's humanly possible for you, not because I might go higher, okay? You want mobility in the scapula, the shoulder blades, and not getting the traps to do all the work. I want you to feel your shoulders sliding up and down as you lift and lower, okay? That's super important. A lot of people miss that. Okay, what is next? Uh, that's the arm extension to overhead press. Upright rows, we're gonna do single arm. I'll show you both, okay? So if you wanna do single arm along with me, you could have hand on the knee and then elbow out. Now let me show you my elbow on this. My elbow is not pulling back. My elbow comes forward, okay? So see where that bell is? It's on the side of my thigh and elbow up, okay? That's your upper row. If you have the, the width in your platform, you can slightly tip forward and upright row like this, okay? So that's your options. I might do a little bit of both to remind you in the workout what you can do, okay? From the upright row, we're gonna go into um, an overhead tricep extension. Again, mobility to be able to bring your elbows up, right, without arching your back, keeping your ribs in, is something a lot of people are limited in. They're super tight. So make sure you check out some of the stretch videos that we I have done and maybe um, Debbie's done on our YouTube channel. We have lots of yoga-like movements using platform, using the, um, uh, the foam roller, the Power Surge Pro, using our, uh, our, our circles, our swirls. So there's lots of other things, other toys that we have that you can get our mobility on, okay? But let me show you. In my tricep extension, I'm going to hold my bell. I'm going to carefully bring my bell behind me. Elbows in. This one's tough. People like their elbows out wide. I want elbows in, and I'm going to extend up and down. On this one, guys, I want you to be super aware, again, that your back's not arching. you got to pull your ribs in. There's your abdominal work as you extend and bend. If your arms lay out, you might want to consider a single arm tricep. I hold the bone, I bend and extend. So I'm not going to do, maybe I will, maybe I should do some single arm to show you. Single arm, bend and extend. Now this is nine pounds, so it might be a lot for you. With two hands, it's a little bit lighter. Okay. Now from the uh, overhead tricep extension, I'm going to do with both hands an arm curl, so we get a bicep curl along with a overhead press. So I've got a second round of presses. I love shoulder presses. I love to have, have everyone have strong shoulder joints, really nice sculpted shoulders. So what we'll do in this bicep arm curl, we're going to hold, um, hold the bell down. You're going to curl, bell up, and press up and in and down. Now my legs are wide on this. If you find, you know, for you, that you don't have the, the width in your platform, depending on your hip angle, you might do a bicep curl, turn and press up, down and turn. That's your option. 
okay? If you cannot have the width in your legs, go lighter because it's a lot for one arm. Okay, so the next one is called static hold over shoulder. Just what it says. You're gonna hold the bell down, so I'm holding the handle. I'm gonna hold this. It's not resting on my shoulder, it's up. Now, this doesn't seem like a big deal. Actually, let's see if I wanna hold it. Maybe I wanna hold it differently. Yeah, I'm gonna hold bell up. Yeah, it's a little bit more weight uh, wobble. I'm gonna hold it over my shoulder and I'm gonna lift the opposite leg up. This might look like it's really easy, but when you got a vibration platform going underneath your feet and you're holding this puppy up for a while, you're gonna feel a lot of oblique work and a lot of shoulder work. It's a great way to build endurance in your shoulders. So it's, it's a little march, but here's the thing guys, when you do your march, it, I want you to feel where your hip bone is and there's it goes down to the pubic bone. There's some muscle there. I want you to feel this muscle contracting. Sure, the hip flexor is going to contract. The quads going to contract. And if you are deconditioned, and I say that with love, you'll probably feel your quad, your hip flexor first. But I challenge you to lift that knee as high as you can to get above the hip flexor and the quad into the lower belly. That's the secret to getting your core working for you. Okay, so it's gonna build up quad, hip flexor, and lower ob abdominals. It's a threefer, <laughs> plus holding the weight over your shoulder. It's a fourfer, so there's a lot going on in that exercise, which is so simple. And finally, number 10 is a wood chop. Kind of like the halo in a way. The halo I went around, but in my wood chop, I'm gonna do I have my elbow in at my side, my right elbow, and I turn it, chop down, and I bring it up. You see how it comes over right in line with my chest. As I turn, I come down. So even though it's a chop, you don't have to go with speed on this. Okay, go with control. And up. Okay, oh, Siri's talking to me. Okay, so that's the move. Again, I've got nine pounds. Might challenge me on a few things myself, but you know, again, do the best you can. Take breaks. You don't have to do every rep. It's quality. I'll say it a million times. I don't get tired of telling my my peeps quality over quantity to get results. So you ready to do this? Let me go ahead and start my timer and start my platform. Got a lot of things to start at the same time, and we'll get going. If you have any questions along the way. Um, I will apologize in advance. I may, I may not answer them because I'm going to be in, in my groove here to get these exercises down. But I will answer them later on. You can always, you can, let me move. I'm just setting some things up. You guys can always text me, um, you know, private message me on Facebook anytime. Okay, I'm here to help you guys out because I know what it's like to get old and that you want to stay strong the whole time. I learned this weekend, <laughs> getting old is not for sissies when you sprain your ankle. Holy crap. But you know, our body loves to heal. And, and if you have all the tools, like right now that I'm home, I am using um, the Axis Pro compression boots. I'm using my red light therapy. I'm using my vibration platform. I'm using everything I got on this ankle, and I am determined to heal it. My PT says somewhere between six to eight weeks. I'm like, how huh, about four to six? But we'll see. Okay. So let me uh, start my timer. Start my platform. Let's see my timer intervals. They're going to be one minute each. One minute each. Make sure I got this. Hold on, guys. Give me some. Give me a second here while I tidy this up. Okay, good. So I have it. Sixty seconds. Okay. Platform. I'm gonna go oscillation and pulsation. I'm not. I'm not doing anything lateral right now. So you decide where you want to go with this. And function. I love this remote. I hope you use yours. It's so nice to have it. Okay, speed, power. 
here we go. We're going to start with halos. I'm going at a speed of about, um, I'm going to go about 40 or so. So give me a second here. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. You're really hydrated in all of this. Take breaks as you need. Come on, come on. Okay, here we go. We're at 40. Okay, so we're going to go with our halo. We're starting with halo. We're going to go ahead and bring it around and down, around and down, inhale up, exhale and down, up, I'm pressing into my feet equally, this is a lot of oblique work, nice and easy around and across, alternate up, out wide with the elbows on this one, over and down, inhale, Five up and around and exhale. Now I started at about the 35 second mark, so I want you to go one minute. I'm going to do 30 seconds on this. Okay, that was the end of that. Side bends are our next one. So feet in parallel, hand behind the head. You're going to bend and extend. So I'm on my right hand. I want you to push, if you're in right hand, left foot down on the platform. And feel that you're lengthening the side body, not crunching it. You're coming up and over and all the way back. Up and over and back. One more time, and we're going to go to the other side. Okay, you can do more of these if you want. Again, I'm going by time. Breathing in. Now I'm pushing down on my pink ankle. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to push down on it because I'm not weight bearing. Take a big breath in. And out, five seconds. So just do one or two more, and then we're gonna move into Get seated for one deadlift. One more time from here. And now in my seated deadlift, I'm gonna go ahead, feet are wide, I'm hinging. I might tap and lift. I'm gonna tuck my chin, I'm not gonna look at you guys. I'm tap, looking at the floor and looking up. Breathing in with my legs wider, I can feel a lot more inner thigh and outer thigh. Belly in and use those glutes, push into your feet. Breath in. Again, I'm in pulsation and oscillation mode here. Drive it into my feet so I can feel my legs working on this. Shoulders are pinned back. I hinge from the hips. This is a great back strengthening exercise. Take a breath and lift. From here, we're going to go into bent five over rows seconds. in about five seconds. <sighs> Great. Six for one. Bent over row. Hand on thigh. And I'm going to go narrow row. So let's see what it feels like to go narrow like this. You can come down lean more. I'm not going to, but you're welcome to. I want your back to be flat. Pull. Release. Feel that shoulder wrapping around. Now, if you have the bandwidth to go wide, but I prefer you go narrow because I really want those lats to work. So think narrow row versus wide row and switch it up, okay? Support yourself from your ankle, pull. Down and pull. Breathe in. I'm trying to put equal weight in both feet. In 30 seconds, you can get probably about eight to Five 10 seconds. reps out of it. Depends your space. Interval seven. Okay, one. from here, we're gonna go into uh, arm extension with overhead press. So I'm gonna push out and up. I'm reaching forward and up. I'm holding, the bell is down. I was telling one of my clients today, we were working out, and I was using the kettlebell. I said, he's a tennis player. He's 76. I'm like, you know, what I love about kettlebells, it helps with grip strength and wrist strength and mobility. It's really wonderful. It's a little different than dumbbells. That's why I'm really loving them. <sighs> Big breath. Push it out, and then push it up. Again, try not to get your neck on this. <sighs> you can go as slow as you want on that but it's straight out and up. 
One more choice. And up. Whew, that one is a tough one. Interval. Upright row, single arm. Okay. So I'm going to do four with one arm. Then I'm going to do four with another arm. Let's do five, six. Let's make it six. Why am I saying four? Okay. Switch it over. You can put your hand on your thigh, elbow. Remember, the weight is in front of your hip. The elbow is in front of your shoulder joint. Now that was 30 seconds, so now I have time to go with both arms, elbows up and down. I have a slight hinge of my torso forward. My toes are spread wide. I'm pushing into all four corners of my feet. I feel like you're pulling that weight apart or that handle apart when you lift it up. Five seconds. One more. From our upright row, Interval nine. we're going overhead tricep extension. So let me show you this. I'm going to do six single arm. Okay, I'm holding the bone right by my ear. Wrist is strong and straight. That's six. Then I'm going to take it down carefully, flip it around, straighten out, hold on, bend back, and extend. Abs pulled in. Hold on to that bone. So I have time. I've got 24 seconds. I'm going to hold on with both hands, elbows in and up. You've got to keep your ribs knitted together on this. Keep those elbows hugging your ears. Oh, good. I got six of these in. So six, six, and six. Actually, I got seven. And last one. Great. From this tricep extension, arm curl to press. So it could look like this. Feet parallel, up, and lift, down, and release. I'm just going to do three of these because they're compound moves. Because I want to do both arms. Challenging to do one arm. You definitely feel the core stability. Okay. Bicep curl. I flip the palm to face forward and then I flip it knuckles down one more and up now here's our full curl okay I'm gonna go into a arm curl to press up elbows in and I'm gonna keep those feet wide biceps to shoulder press five seconds nice and controlled I like this two arm one a lot. Okay, from here, guys, static hold over the shoulder. Like I said, this looks easier than it really is. So I'm going to hold that weight over my right shoulder. Okay, for 30 seconds, up, down. Try not to stagger. Like I can feel my right shoulder wants to drop, but I want to keep my chest lifted. Pushing down on my platform leg. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Okay, let's switch legs here, switch sides, hold it up. Okay, you're not resting. Maybe I'll go a little higher. Up, down. Oh yeah, there's a difference when I lift it higher. This is great core work. See, you can work your core seated. There's so many ways to work your core. You don't have to do crazy, crazy stuff. But, you know, sometimes crazy is fun. <sighs> you got about 10 more seconds. <sighs> and then we have one more exercise. How are we doing time-wise? I think we should be good. 30, oh, I'm going to run out of time here. Okay, wood chops. From here, I chop down and up and down. I'm turning with this, okay? Here and chop. Facing me, then look down at the angle of the ground. That's six. Okay, I'm going to take it up on the other shoulder. Breathe in and down. You're going to find one side twists better than the other. 
up five seconds. It's right over the shoulder, squared, and then twist Stretch out. Stretch for seven minutes. Three more. So my uh, timer tells me to stretch for seven minutes. We're not going to do that, but I'm going to show you some stretches. <sighs> okay. How easy was that? What a workout. I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, so let's put this back in its holster here. Nice and safe and sound. I love my kettlebells from Life Pro. I can't tell you how much I love them. Now, by the way, guys, rather than seated on this stool, you can um, sit on the platform, okay? So if you don't want to sit up, you can do these same exercises on the platform. Some things might be a little more awkward because the knees are higher than the hips, but give it a shot. What I mean is you can keep your legs out straight while you're doing your wood chops, while you're doing your curls. So you see how you can do that? You can cross ankles if you'd like. You can have knees bent, but that's a little awkward. So I would say legs straight out. Okay, oops, I just put my platform on. Didn't mean to do that. So know that if you want to sit down, there's a lot more jiggling going on, and we love all that energy in our body. So I see a Facebook user. Hopefully some of these exercises will help my husband with SI joint dysfunction. You know, I have a lot of instability in my SI joint. I'm very, very mobile. So have if that's the case, please go light because it's super important to keep this core engaged the pelvis still. So I would not have him sit on the platform. I'd sit on the stool, anchor his feet, and then there's all that stability and strength. So definitely a win-win for SI joint dysfunction. So back to stretching. Let's reach those hands. I cross left over right, tuck the chin, reach forward, stretch between the shoulder blades. Breathe, open up like you're on the Titanic. Open the chest, stretch out. Cross the other hand over, interlace. Tuck the chin, push away. Breathe into that. And then back on the Titanic, breathe in. Hands behind the head, elbows in and out. Just let those shoulder joints. Now this cool down can be your warm up as well. Please make sure you're not exercising cold joints. You can always place your hands on the platform, the side bend, and just uh, do a somewhat of a plank to get some energy into the shoulders, get the blood flow. <sighs> Boy, a lot of oblique, a lot of good core work there. Rotate to one direction, come back to center the other direction. I want to make sure you stretch your fingers out. So interlace all 10 fingers if you can, push up, drop your shoulders, and then let's Reach the palm facing down, grab the fingers, all five of them, and you want a good wrist flexion here. Very difficult for many people. They lose wrist flexion. I hope you're not one of them. Okay, and then fingertips up. So same thing, I want a 90 degree flexion in the wrist, if possible. And then fingertips down. So I'm gonna pull, press gently on the knuckles, shoulder down, and stretch the wrist. As I mentioned, when we're doing kettlebell training, it's really wonderful for all of us active aging adults who lose, you know, this arthritis thing going on in your hands. A lot of it can be diet too, by the way, palm down. I know when I have a lot of gluten and sugar in my diet, boo, my joints are feeling like I got arthritis, but I don't. Okay, so you could have inflammation caused from food. Um, other, otherwise, uh, it could be just from lack of motion, right? Fingertips up. Yeah, he sits in his chair. He's going to be fine, Facebook user. I'm not sure who you are, but definitely so. And then fingertips down, shoulder down. I'm pressing gently to open up that wrist joint. And then just shake things out. Let's just roll your shoulders out. Well, guys, this was a, um, a quick little routine. Literally, I did one set of, of everything, basically, in 10 minutes. So there is no reason that you don't have 10 minutes to incorporate platform and kettlebell to feel strong and fit over time. Start where you're at. Start with lightweight. The kettlebell could be just the bell itself without any weight on it to get used to holding it. Add on 
Six reps, go through one set of each. If it feels pretty good, do another set, then start playing with adding weight. Okay, more weight is not better yet until you have great form. Upright posture, you wanna always keep parallel or lateral, hinging from the hip. There is no, I call this cashew back, no cashew back, uh-uh, okay? Nice length in spine, chest lifted, ears, shoulders, hips in alignment. Well, I hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm so grateful for my platform and for kettlebells to help my healing process. You're gonna be along with me on my journey. Um, gosh, next week, Thanksgiving, I am planning on a turkey burnout, a turkey challenge. I hope you'll join me on Thanksgiving day. I'm putting together my routine right now. Um, because of this injury, things might be different. I don't know, but there's always something you can do. I know this to be a fact. I've been a fitness trainer for over 25 years. I've worked with a lot of different injuries, um, a lot of rehab, prehab, life stuff. And um, there's always a way to move your body, especially with all our amazing Life Pro products. So keep in mind, $279.99 is the Triform, 20% off, plus you get a massage gun. What a flipping deal. I love these guys. And other than that, um, also make sure you check the link out in the chat to be sure to write a review because Amber is picking someone out this what I'm not sure what product she is going to be talking about, but um, she is definitely going to be um, uh, giving someone some love and some e-cards. And lastly, if you're not, if you don't know this already, um, five seconds on Amazon. Oh, let me pause this. On Amazon, I have timer pause. I'm on Amazon every Saturday morning, almost every Saturday morning. Um, usually my time, eight, nine o'clock, your time, 10, 11, 12. So follow Life Pro on Amazon. We have um, a live stream there where I'm also sharing tips, tricks product reviews, uh, new things that Amazon is carrying that Life Pro may not be carrying yet on the website, by the way. So they've got some things that aren't on the website that you can purchase through Amazon. Still the great warranties, lifetime warranties, still the great customer service support. It's just you buy it on Amazon instead of the Life Pro site. So either way, it's a win-win that we, I, get to help you live fit and age well. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, a great week ahead, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.